Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to compare all three Ryzen CPUs I've tested with each other. So this will be a comparison between the AMD Ryzen 5 1400, the Ryzen 5 1600 and of course the Ryzen 7 1700X. Yes I know, I've been milking that Ryzen cow a lot lately, but it kinda has to be done. So today you might find out what CPU out of the three is the best deal for you. When taking a look at the specs, we immediately see the core and thread difference. The Ryzen 5 1400 being a quad core with 8 threads, the 1600 a 6 core with 12 threads and the Ryzen 7 1700X an 8 core and 16 threads. Other than that, clock speeds don't differ all that much and same goes for the cache, except the 1400 is equipped with significantly less. But does this have an impact on performance? Mm, we'll see. Now the two Ryzen 5 processors will be tested with the ASUS Prime X370 Pro, whereas the Ryzen 7 will go into the ASUS Crosser 6 Hero motherboard. And all three CPUs will be paired with G-Skills Flare X 3200MHz RAM. And now the benchmark results I guess. Long story short, AMD's Ryzen lineup for sure is a great release, Ryzen 7 being the best performing one obviously. When throwing intensive workloads at the 1700X, it handles all the tasks like a champion. So for content creation your best deal might be a Ryzen 7 chip. But that by no means means the Ryzen 5 1600 isn't suitable for those tasks as well. In fact it does remarkably well and even outperforms Intel's i7 77 700K when it comes down to rendering, video editing and stuff like that. As for games, there's hardly any real difference between the Ryzen 5 1600 and the Ryzen 7 1700X. So if all you do is play games and don't need all the power of the world to render videos or so, your best pick might be the 1600 of the Ryzen 5 lineup. The 1400 however is a bit of a problem child, so to speak. It's not priced that great for what it actually delivers. I mean, it can totally keep up with an i5-7600K in aspects such as rendering, but in certain games the frame rate really drops behind by quite a lot compared to its bigger brother, the 1600, which does very well. Luckily, as I found out in my overclocking video of the 1400, a decent 4GHz overclock does do wonders for the gaming performance. Now who should buy what? In my opinion, 
content creators that professionally produce let's say videos quite often or need to render things, go for the Ryzen 7. If you mainly focus on gaming and like to edit videos and render from time to time and don't want to spend too much for a great CPU, the Ryzen 5 1600 is the ideal processor for you. And although the Ryzen 5 1400 stock performance isn't mind-blowing by any stretch of the imagination, it still does okay and luckily for those who know how to overclock, you can transform this chip into a very decent performer in games and use it for rendering too. Go get this CPU if you really can't go any higher with your budget. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as the other comparisons I did. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching.